Hello, this is Andrew Perkins and this is part 3 in creating a blog using Ruby on Rails. In the last video we learned how to create, read, update, and delete posts using the Rails console. In this video we're going to focus on learning a little bit more about Rails routing. Uh, the reason we're going to learn about Rails routing is because when we create the different actions for displaying the individual pages for showing posts, uh, displaying a form to add a post or update a post and deleting posts, each of these has their own action. And uh, the name of these actions are defined by the resource route that we created in the first video. So if we open up our config folder and take a look at our routes file again, you'll recall that we added this line here, resources posts, and this is giving us our resource route. This is going to give us seven different routes for our posts. Uh, that's going to give us seven different actions in our posts controller that we can use to create, read, update, and delete posts. Uh, to get an idea of what these seven different actions, actions should be named, we can go into our terminal and we can run the rake routes command. And that takes just a second to generate our routes. There we go. So we can see that we have seven different actions for our posts controller here on the right. Uh, we have index, create, new, edit, show, update, and destroy. You're going to need to create these seven different actions in the controller, and they each do uh, what they sound like they do, the, except for the index action. Uh, the index action is your default page. Uh, this is going to be used to display all of our posts we have a show action which is going to be used to display an individual post we have a new action which is going to be used to display the form to submit a new post we have a create action which is what the n the form on the new page is going to submit to create doesn't actually have a view uh, it's just going to save the new post into the database and then it's going to redirect to a different page uh, we also have the edit action which is going to display a form for editing a post and then it has an update action to actually do the updating of the post in the database again the update page uh, the update action doesn't have a view file it's just going to update the post in the database and then redirect to a different page and finally we have the destroy action to delete a post and like the create and update actions it does not have a view file as well uh, you just create a link to the destroy action to delete a post and then it redirects to a different page or you can render something else um, so in addition to these seven different routes that we get for manipulating our posts we also get a couple of helpers uh, we have a few named routes named routes are a way of referring to these routes uh, inside of our controller or in our views uh, we can refer to these routes by redirecting or linking to them so we can see the named routes over here on the right uh, on the left sorry uh, part of the n the name of the named route is not actually displayed uh, each of these ends in an underscore path so if we wanted to refer to our index action using its named route we can go to posts path and that refers to the index action uh, to refer to the new action we have the new post path and we could create a link and link to new post path and that would take them to the new page we also have the edit post path and then this one actually takes a parameter of the post that you're wanting to edit. So if we wanted to edit post number one, we could use the edit post path and pass in one, and that would redirect to a page to edit the post, uh, the post with an ID of number one. And then finally, we have one last named route called post path. And then like the edit post path, it takes in the ID of the post that you want to view. Uh, post path refers to the show action so this will show the post with ID 1. Alright so now that we know the actions 
uh, that we need to create. We'll go ahead and create these blank actions and their view files uh, to set us up for our future tutorials. So let's go into our text editor under the app folder under controllers we'll open up posts underscore controller dot rb and let's create those seven different actions uh, remember we have an action called show to show an individual post we have an action called new to display a form to create a new post we have an action called create which the form from the new action will submit to and this will save the post into the database. We have an action called edit. This will display a form for editing a post. And then we also have an action called update. Uh, this is going to be used for actually updating the post. The form on the edit page will submit to the update post and update it. I'm sorry. The form on the edit page will submit to the update action and this will update that post in the database. And finally, we have the destroy action to delete a post. Uh, we now need to create views for these. Remember, only the index, show, new, and edit page have views. The create, update, and destroy are only doing some type of processing. And then these three actions will redirect to one of the other actions. So let's create these view files. So under views, posts, we'll create a new file, and this is going to be for the show page, so we'll call it show.html.erb, and we'll create another new file, and this is going to be for the new action, so it's new.html.erb, and then finally one for our edit action. New file and edit.html.erb. There we go. So let's save this. So we have our new actions and views, and we understand how Rails routing works in a little more detail. So I hope you found this useful, and thank you for watching.